Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's sad, isn't it? Um, come on, mate. Sorry, sir. Oh, we go that way. Go. Kiss us sleeping. Yeah, but we can't have that in this country, can we? In the UK, having people up the floor like that makes me feel ill. That does. I think we should. There's a system in Switzerland. Yeah. Um, thanks to capsules, where the um, there's no homelessness apparently. Yeah, yeah. They and cured they, it there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get these capsules overnight. You get kicked out in the morning, and then the. Uh, but here we got so much money here in the. I'm doing a bit of filming for YouTube, obviously. You might be famous today. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, my name's Keith the Allen Boy. Listen, you haven't got to identify yourself. You're very polite. Uh, normally, you guys, your policy is you identify if you approach, which you didn't. Yeah. So you're you're fine, constable. Um, right. okay. I also chuck a question while we're here. Obviously, we're talking about a gentleman's probably literally sleeping there. I filmed here about seven times, okay. and I've never had a bad, um, never had a problem. Okay. But you guys, the Met, obviously under a lot of pressure. Um, there's a lot of films coming out about you guys the next couple of months about the corruption. Okay, is that what channel? Uh, I'm not sure what channel. Okay. I'm sure the usual Netflix and all That'll that. Be interesting to see, you know what I mean? How long have you been on the force then, Constable? 21. 21. Years. You seen any corruption? I don't personally. No. It's like, we're such a big force. You're massive, isn't you? 30 yeah, yeah, thousand. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and it's like, you think, like, any business where you work, you may see things or you may not because it's not in your domain. Have you ever ignored it, though? If you've seen it. No, look, I'm no, not no, calling no, no, you. No, no, no. no if no, you no. see it, you'd pull it up, yeah? It's very important. That you Priority. Challenge. No, challenge. But yeah. even, even that, like, if you're a good officer, the yeah. bad one makes you look bad because everyone will judge you the same. That's any situation. But you guys obviously protect the public, don't you? Okay. So I've got a question to you. Yeah, of course. Chuck it in. What is a good news blog or magazine that promotes all the good that our communities do? I, stuff that I do. I like to show the... Because we're breaking the town centres down now, I feel. We're going online. But there's still a bustling communities in towns. Yeah. And I feel like there's been such negative press about all the town centre closures. There is still content out there promoting the community vibe and the good work that you guys do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You just said it there. The negative vibe. It is popular. Correct. But I don't like that though, oh, about yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a fan like you. Yeah. So I'd rather see all the positive stuff yeah. on your high street, what we do good. Yeah, 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 because you have a hard job. Because otherwise people will start to feel depressed and think negatively. Yeah. That's the, what it is every day. But you guys need to change your image because uh, Sir Mark Rowley, um, your commissioner, has obviously come out and said there's hundreds of corrupt officers. You need more officers to come out and say, look, we're totally against it. Like you said, if you see it, you don't ignore it, you chuck it in. I know the IEPC is a bit of a controversial one because um, it run by a lot of ex-police officers. I feel you need an independent board, in my opinion. Instead of well, police that, officers. On that line, you'll need to speak to my DM and say... That's all I ever... <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Um, at the end of the day, um, that small minority like you've just pointed out. Sadly, uh, yeah. Sadly, yeah, yeah. There's but, a lot of them, though, now. Like, even if it's a minority... Me, for me, both sides need to change. It's one in 50. Say if it's one in 50. So let's say, let's say... Sorry, no, I'm no, you're fine. Um, so let's say for behaviour changes, we need to change. Change Start from the bottom up. Right. So even if it's twenty-five percent police. Yeah. Oh, sorry, seventy-five percent police, twenty-five percent community. Yeah. We need to make positive changes, but it can't be one way. No. Because I agree. As you know, it's, if you've got a problem, it's probably two or three parties involved, and if we don't all talk and communicate, it'll never get resolved. Communication's gone now, isn't it? And and the thing is, your budget cuts. Listen, I'm not anti-police at all. I, I do filming of you guys generally. Um, I haven't been here in a long time, but I'm kind of doing a documentary, right? Yes. And it's about both sides of the coin. Because um, you guys are run by the government as well. You have to enforce the law. But you're, you're running on a shoestring of a budget. Yeah. And you guys need to weed out them bad ones before the whole public believe that you guys are corrupt and then you won't solve as many crimes. Because a lot of your crimes are solved by the public coming forward, aren't they? And if they don't believe in you... Right, so... When things like anti-social behaviour yeah. and crime happen, we need the communities, we need our 
Of course you do. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily we'll go down and arrest someone because that's not the answer. Mm -hmm. As you say, we've got people living in hardship. Sadly. Uh, and that's sadly, yeah. And we've got a lot of that. So what we need to do is, and what we have been doing is Operation Project Ada. Yeah. Um, we make referrals for people who've got problems, alcohol, alcoholism and drug addiction. We have the art centre. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Montague Hall, is it, I believe? Um, so they're doing uh, a lot of good work, but we need to do more. Yeah. Um, and working with them, we need to get a steer on the problems in the high street yeah. and the household. Um, it's a big problem, by though. maybe breaking down what we do rather than going to Social interactions, more yeah. taking it back to how it used to be. Yeah. And I feel like the police now have recruited so many, you're forgetting about the original Bobbies on the Beat, which solved a lot of crimes. Well, Bobby on the Beat. But listen, that's why, that's why I, I, I thought I'd come to a car. I was filming here. Generally, whenever I've filmed Hounslow anyway, I've always had positive interactions. Yeah. I've had a few fellow colleagues that have come here and had a lot of hassle. Okay. And that's the shame with this filming. You can meet a good officer like yourself, but I can go around the corner and meet a horrible one. And, and the odds are quite getting higher or worse now. Like one in 50 say are corrupt now. I don't know. That's yeah, dangerous. The DMC, but what I'm going to say to you now is I've got some admin administration to do. Yeah, and you I'm do what you got to do. I'm going to the high street. I don't know if you saw me dealing. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go and complete that. I'm going to do maybe a bit of film. Thank you for your time as well, officer. Maybe you got a shake or no? Oh, go on then, I'll give you a fist bump. Fist bump? Okay. I'm, I'm just going to have a little walk around. Thank you for not stopping me rights. And have a good day. Thank you. Well then, guys. Oh, there's a lot of you here now. Listen, um, literally chatting to the officer there, and there's literally an homeless man sleeping in the tent. I feel that there, guys. We need to change this, guys, as a society. Um, it really saddens me personally. So we're talking a homeless person's here, and you just turn around one little bit and you got the police station there. And it was nice to actually get, I know he might have done it for the camera, an officer to generally comment on the homeless situation. It's a big thing here. In, in, well, it's great in London here, but it's a bigger thing in London. So he did say Montage Hall are helping the homeless. And I hope they can actually give them a resolution of a place to live. Because a lot of the time, when they're moving them to places, they're full of drugs these hostels especially but we're hoping now guys that they can sort it out oh that's lovely lady like we just missed the blues on twos then they're waiting for us to go and then they they leave <laughs> blues and twos looks like it's the past man yeah they do bro but they're quiet now listen um, what would happen if we went in? Will we get beaten up? No. They might be, it might be like that Edmund. Oh, do you remember that one? Yeah. I've that still was a good got one. Video. I would not upload that. You haven't uploaded it yet? Well, I have, but you told me to take it down, but I might actually upload Why it. Why did I tell you to take it down? I think it's in by Beam, but I don't remember. Do we risk? I don't know. Go in there if you want. I'll come here. I'll just put my shoe on. You can get beat up. It's just, I'm just being careful. I'm just being joking. Just put me. Yeah. Let's have a little look. Hello, man. London audits has persuaded me to come inside. If obviously if we're here any victims of crime, I will mute it, guys. Oh, mate. We ain't been here in a year, man. I don't know how hard that was to put all its stickers on. Must have been very. Um... I actually, oh, good, so I wouldn't say it, but, uh, guys, I think I remember to talk to not to talk was in one of these interview rooms. How can you come in the, I won't, I won't get you, brother, I won't get you. How can you come in the police station, guys, in the 21st century and see a boy at man up the floor? Have a good day, man. Oh, we didn't get you, brother, don't worry. I edit you anyway. We're just, um, just seeing them behind the counter. Don't worry, don't worry. We, we film them for a living, innit? We're, we're basically cop watchers. We film them 24-7. Now, not if you or, like, genuine victims of crime, we're very cautious. Like, there's a, literally a man asleep on the floor over there. Like, what the fuck? We've been here too many times. 
Just take it easy, man. Fucking. It. You've never been nicked now. I've been jailed, man. I'm out. I'm out for years now. So just try and keep your head clear, man. Do your best. Jail's a mugs game, man. How old are you? Seventeen. I'm an old man. Too. I'm thirty-two. I've done all my years of your age in jail, unfortunately. But I've been out for six years now. But this film is good, man. But um, we won't get you anyway. But I can't believe a man's on the floor in there. Let's say if you want to check it out, Gypsy Audit UK on YouTube and LA Audits. Take care, man. Just didn't want to film uh, victims of crime. Man, what's up with that woman in that mini? She's a lunatic. Is that a police officer? Yeah. That's a pure lunatic. What's up with her? We're going to have to film her now because she's mentally ill. Slow down, man. Fucking hell. You done or do you want to stay for a bit? I don't know. Not much happening. Yeah, man. If you want to move, I'm ready to go. I'll, I'll stream it till we leave. Yeah, we get this wrapped up. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go. All right, we're going to move on, guys. I'm going to keep you live for a minute and then I will be live again at the next location. Let's sub up to... LA audits. They seem to be behaving here today. Sadly though, there was a man on the floor in that police station and that gentleman was a bit cautious of us filming. Just a genuine guy, so... I agree he was. He sounds a bit cocky. He was alright with me, that guy. Well, well, I didn't have a problem with him, but he can sound a bit, you know what I mean. He's young though, isn't he? They're young when they're young. Yeah. He was only 17. I'm quite surprised. Like, yeah. I thought he was a bit older.